We are in the daytime kitchen with Eric Lynn. He's the owner of Whistle Creek Pet Treats. Is that right? Did yes. I get the, the name right? That's it, Whistle Creek Pet Treats. Pet Treats. And you're in Lexington, right? Lexington, Virginia, right. Okay. Through. So tell me about Whistle Creek. So I uh, make and create all natural cat dog treats and pet food using local farm to table ingredients. Okay. That's awesome. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your, your name because you said you're going to be changing your name. I'll be changing soon. that soon to Whistle Creek Pet Nutrition okay. because I'm advancing into not only supplemental treats but a food line as well. Mm, that's great. Okay, very cool. All right, so let's talk about what makes your creation so unique. What would you say? I would say that I'm using um, not only small batches and intimate, getting, becoming intimate with the ingredients, but I'm sourcing locally. Um, Okay. As much as possible. Yeah. So I'm baking them low and slow, and I'm using local and organic ingredients as much as possible. Cool. Yeah, that's big in the veterinary world right now. Is Pet it? Parents really want those all natural, locally sourced. That's mm -hmm. definitely a big trend. Definitely, where mm -hmm. they can become intimate with not only their own food, but their pet's food as well, the source of that. Right. And the exactly. creation process. Right. Yeah, and Courtney mentioned, you know, the whole concern with China and everything else. Everybody's like, all right, what mm -hmm. is in not only our food, but the food that we're feeding our pets. This is true. So how did you get involved? Like, why did you want to do this? Well, I started becoming in tune with my own nutrition and that transferred into me becoming in tune with my pet's nutrition. Um, okay. I started reading the labels and yeah. I couldn't pronounce the ingredients, the chemicals, preservatives, and I wasn't comfortable feeding that for my pet. So yeah. I figured I would take matters into my own hands, start making, baking, flipping, creating in my own kitchen uh, two years ago and I came up with a product that I felt comfortable feeding my own pet. Mm -hmm. In doing so, I could share my love for food and animals with the public in the form of Whistle Creek Treats. That's, That's so great. cool. And look at these pictures. I mean, these are like really beautiful treats. I mean, I want to eat I them. Know. Exactly, it smells <laughs> do amazing. Do you try your own creations? I do, I try everything I make. If I can't eat it or my dog doesn't eat it, I won't put it out there. Really? And I'm always giving out samples to folks and getting feedback and doing education. So uh -huh. I'm very involved in the process and the uh, outreach. I love that. Okay, so when we come back with you, we're going to talk a little bit about the variety that you offer c customers. And also, we're going to make a recipe, a pumpkin delight. What is it called? That's right. Pumpkin peanut butter carob delight. It's delicious. All right. Okay, we're back in the daytime kitchen with Eric, and we were just chatting while we were waiting to come back on about, you know, following these standards. I kind of was given brain free a bad rep earlier, so I wanted to make sure, you know, Eric and I had a conversation about you're t talking about going and doing your own food lines. So yes. what have you? What are you doing to prepare for that? So uh, it's a so much in depth research to this. It's really scientific formulations to get the protein, fat, fiber, moisture, taurine levels, calcium, trace minerals, and all that too the levels that they're coming up with uh, to meet the nutritional needs of the cat and dogs, which is very vital and important. I love it. Yeah. You made my day. <laughs> yes, I know. Because, yeah, you're ahead of the game. You know what you're doing. You did your research. That's really good. So let's talk about the different varieties of treats that you offer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I do. I started with the, the peanut butter and banana. So I use local peanuts that I blend into homemade peanut butter. It's one ingredient, and then I mix that with coconut oil, and that creates the... That's one ingredient in coconut oil. Well, the one ingredient, peanut butter, and then I mix that with local eggs from my own chickens. Okay, okay. Flat seed, um, and then organic fill peas to make it sort of a, a treat. And then I have a wild Alaskan salmon treat that is cat and dog friendly, supplemental. Uh -huh. I use local eggs for my chickens, a tad bit of sharp cheddar cheese, and then I have a beef liver jerky, which is rich in taurine, right? And yes. that's it's okay. excellent for the cat. Uh -huh. It's an amino acid that the cats can't maintain on their mm -hmm. own, so that's excellent for the cats and the dogs. And it's literally one ingredient. A lot of times you'll find jerky in stores that are various ingredients, and it's it's really not needed. So that's literally straight up grass-fed beef, local. That's local great. Local goodness. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, and uh, yeah, how, you just kind of like play with the ingredients and see what works. A lot of with your a lot dog? of practice in the kitchen, right? Yeah. And then a lot of samples given out those right. to folks to see what they like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're giving our viewers a sneak peek at your new line, right? That's right. And what yeah. is that? So we're happy to introduce our new pet food pet food line, um, and it's right here. And we've teamed up and collaborating with Polyface Farms in Swope, Virginia. We're using their local pasture chickens. Mm -hmm. um, we're using local raw goat's milk from Better Way Farms in Waynesboro, Virginia. And we're using organic Icelandic sea kelp, organic coconut oil, psyllium husk for fiber, pumpkin, um, 
we're also using organic cold pressed hemp oil for trace minerals and vitamins. Mm -hmm. So it's an amazing formulation. It's up and coming. That will be on the market soon. That's awesome. Right. Okay, so I was talking to Courtney earlier, and she says that she tries some foods mm -hmm. every once in a while. Yes. Is this something that we could try? Everything you can eat. Everything yeah. I make is human grade. It's not only that, but it's it's probably healthier than what we're seeing on the shelves for ourselves. Oh, we're totally going to try it. We're going to try it. We're yeah. going to come back with you, and we're going to make a treat here with pumpkin and peanut butter. Is that right? And carob. And carob. That's right. Okay, so stay tuned for that, and then we're going to try it and, and sample it ourselves. We're back in the daytime kitchen with Eric Lynn. He's the founder and owner of Whistle Creek Pet Treats. And you were just looking at the what we're going to make. And Courtney mentioned she hasn't used this many ingredients for her family, let alone her. No, her I don't dogs. cook like this for my family. I know, it's right? It's a good spread. <laughs> it is a good spread. So what are we making? So we're making a pumpkin peanut butter carob delight. It's a cookie that's amazing in flavor, taste. It's high protein, fiber, okay. low and, glycemic. Okay, and this is pumpkin? This is pumpkin. All right. And we're gonna do, uh, let's say 15 ounces, one can, mm -hmm. and it's just 100% puree. All right. Not the spiced, which has sugar and some ingredients that are not necessary. Mm -hmm. Tablespoon of carob powder. What is carob? It's a healthy alternative to chocolate, which the dogs cannot have, oh, right? Oh, okay. Very good. So All make right. sure you're using that carob mm -hmm. and not chocolate. And not chocolate, okay. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. One four teaspoon of ginger. You don't need much, it's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. and a lot of these have antioxidants in them too. And organic coconut oil, a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go with two eggs from my personal chicken flock. Wow. Non GMO fed, they're happy chickens, they run around and have a good time. <laughs> okay. And I gather the eggs every morning. Mm. No, okay. One fourth cup of coconut flour, organic. Mm -hmm. It's going to give it a light sweetness, naturally. Okay. And I'm glad about, you do this. Yeah. Not me, I'm gonna, what is family. this? How about some homemade peanut butter? Oh. oh One half man. cup. <laughs> yes. I made this last night. That's what I do before each batch. I make, I mail my own flour and grind my own peanut butter. You don't butter. have to put that there. I'll just take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's a spoon. <laughs> okay. And then what else? And let's add in a little garnish here that's going to mix in, and we'll add it as a garnish later. But that's unsweetened coconut okay. with a little bit of organic flaxseed. Wow. And we're going to mix that in. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you just get it all stirred up. Get it all stirred up. In. And then you Combined. said the consistency is big. And we're, we have about a minute left, so I just want to mention that the consistency is big between the cat food and the dog treats, right? It's true. Have, yeah. You have to have different shapes. and mm -hmm. Cats are very particular about shapes and textures. And dogs Some are very pretty. Maybe so, not as much. It's true. It Can you all smell so that? Good. Yes. Okay. And then you just, what, bake them on a... Cookie sheet? We bake those on a cookie sheet. You can use a cookie scoop. You can use a spoon. Mm -hmm. If you want to roll those out on the on your counter here, you can use a little bit more flour. But that's what you'll have is you can bake your co cookie I'm, I'm trying and eat that I'm trying too. one. And then you said you added a little bit of honey? A little bit of honey on top. Mm-hmm. And it's local raw honey. It's excellent. It's good for allergies in small dosage. It exposes oh them God, to the local that's elements. It's really good. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> I know. For my dog. That's great. WhistleCreekTreats.com if you want more information. Eric, thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. Have another mm. bite. Uh -huh. Sounds good.